Hello everyone, today we're gonna try and sort out parts and bits needed for our water line. I tried to contact uh, Max Speed and Grotz about uh, water inlet and outlet and they are giving me wrong bolt size. They are saying it's M14 but I bought M14 like this one. Max Speed and Grotz, you don't know your product measurements so let's find it out because I also bought M16 and M18. M18 the biggest one it would go but it is the wrong thread so at least we know the size so the idea is for water return to use a bolt which is on the engine's block so we may need like the size of horse I'm not sure yet and for the feed we're gonna use those two horses which are on our throttle body I bought a connector for it so bam 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 I'll show you the plan so the plan is to connect those two horses with this guy and then connect our brand new horse to this side of this bit and go underneath the car. And now for the return line, there is a bolt. I'll show you. There is this bolt and I would like to replace this bolt with a Benju connection and we have to route it to another side of our turbocharger. So now I'm gonna go and uh, drain some coolant Then I'll go underneath the car to unbolt that guy to see its thread And uh, measure size of the feed hose And then measure the size of the return hose And uh, tomorrow I'm going to shops and I'm gonna see what I can get Or we may need to use AliExpress again So 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 draining the radiator didn't help So probably it wasn't worth but I have this bolt and it looks like it's M14 and 1.5 thread size. We have spare one and it looks like we only need that banjo thing. And uh, now I'm gonna go underneath the car again and measure the size of the horses needed. It looks like I've got a little bit wet, but uh, the length of the drain hose is about 22 centimeters with banjos on it. And uh, that longer one, one meter and a half should be more than enough. So we have the sizes and tomorrow I'm going to see what I can get in shops, if I can get anything. And I'll give you an update tomorrow. So see you then, guys. What's up, everyone, again, and I'm with good news. I managed to buy those horses for water and I also bought bolts with washers and this one which is our feed line I asked for one meter and a half and then I bought this horse for return we left this side unpressed because uh, I wanted to see an angle which needs to be done and it's definitely too long we may need maybe like this but this one I'm leaving to the very end of our project because I'd like to have our turbo clocked and then we'll know the exact angle because from what I remember when I looked underneath the car it has to be quite accurate length of it so I'll have to go to the shop and ask to press it and I paid for the service so everything will be free and for everything those three bolts six washers two meters of horse and uh, three ends of it with work I paid only 32 euros damn good boy so we decided to use one of bolt for our oil feed which is there and uh, I bought this longer one bolt so basically we're gonna put two banjos in there and then use this boy so this should be an easy installation but as always we have lots of bits and none of it fits actually this one fits so as you can see those a n connections has three different ends which goes to a horse and uh, only this one fits the horse we have and it's a rubber inside these ones are for P, F, T, E, I think. And uh, the one we have is C, P, E, if I'm right. So basically only this one is good for us. These ones we won't be using. Probably I'll have to resell it and order new ones. So basically it's everything simple with the feed. I'll have to buy a 45 degrees elbow which uh, fits our horse end. And then just install the line. Pretty straightforward job. And it's still not very clear with oil drain, so today I'll be going underneath the car and checking uh, what bits I need for oil drain. 
So for the oil drain, I'll try to order a bit which changes this bolt to AN and then I'll order a 120 degrees AN 8 bit for a turbo side. So I managed to find missing parts for oil drain and feed. Two AN 8 bits, then the one into an oil pan, AN 6 bit for feed and then this banjo adapter. So finally I received the bits needed for our host and uh, I also received this like banjo bit for our AN bit. So I don't know, it works with a 90 degrees there and 45 down there or the other way. So we'll find the best position later. And uh, today's task is to make this horse with those two bits. As you already know, previously I bought few wrong bits. So for your understanding, if a horse is rubber, then a N bit should be from two parts like this one and that one. If that horse is stiff and plastic or teflon I think then those bits are three parts and there is like some sort of metal tube. Yesterday I made this one and what I can tell you it's impossible impossible to make a horse without this guy. So if you're gonna do something like that I advise you having this bad boy and uh, let's hope this won't leak. For this end I ordered another fancy AN8 bit with a clamp and we'll have to cut this horse as well so let's wait for that bit and we'll see. I'll show you everything later. Now it's about making this horse. Now I'm gonna tape this one around it and cut with angle grinder and now the biggest challenge is to cut it as straight as possible so I'm gonna tape it and then cut it. Another step is to put this end somehow into this thing. All good. And we need to lubricate it somehow. And I'm gonna use a WD-40. Now it looks like for AN6 it's 17 millimeter and for NA8 it was 22 millimeters. But you can use pliers or an adjustable wrench. And we have this end done without uh, any special tools or anything. So let's hope it won't leak. Now I'm gonna repeat the process with another end uh, and with 45 degrees bit we will be able to do this end without cutting it Oops. now let's hope i didn't damage anything so it's time for this guy Cool. Wasn't too difficult. Now let's hope it won't leak. And uh, both ends you can see. Let's hope everything fits. And uh, cool. Let's take off those planks and see if silicone holds that molding. First one. Ooh, looks like it holds. And the last one. Like brand new.